welcome back to my channel. So I'm upstairs in the office today, Tom's downstairs, he's on furlough, so he's looking after the children. Why I like it to film a video. <laughs> it's been a while since I've last posted on my channel, but it's been hectic with kids and nursery and getting the house sorted and just everything. It's just gone a bit kind of, uh... So we are in the middle of winter. We're not, we're in summer in the UK but it's absolutely freezing today and it's raining so that's great I'm gonna shut the window as well because the cars are really loud right window is shut so my video today is going to be talking to you about things that I wish I knew before having children children are my world they really are but I wish I knew some of these things before having children to kind of prepare me possibly not prepare me but just uh yeah i wish that i knew <laughs> so first of all the first thing i knew would like to have known is that children babies or not babies toddlers yeah are like mini tornadoes in terms of mess and noise they are so noisy and they are so so messy but the thing is that you tidy up and they'll come round after you and untidy the bits that you've already tidied so that's not helpful at all in the slightest robin my eldest who is now three um is just start well she's three and a half like she's starting to help me tidy up after herself but Isabel, the one-year-old, is literally a mini tornado. She comes, destroys everything, pulls the books off the bookshelf, and yeah, absolutely makes a mess. It's carnage. So my second one would be, sorry, I wrote them down so I didn't forget, but now I've just forgotten, so I need to have a look again. <laughs> right, is you can read all the books in the whole entire world, but nothing will prepare you. I read so many parenting books when I was pregnant. I was watching like obviously YouTube vlogs. I was watching everything, but nothing actually prepares you until you're in the moment. Like the moment that, that baby gets put on your chest, you are then totally responsible for her or him or for them. Like, and nothing will prepare you for it. So yeah, so all that reading probably did help a little bit, but doesn't prepare you at all in the slightest. Okay, so the next one would be sleep deprivation is the worst form of torture or anything that you will ever, ever get as a mother. <laughs> but I think people use it in like torture, for like people to torture because it is so horrible. Um, yeah, it is not nice and just be prepared for it because it's going to happen whether or not it happens straight away, like when they're first born or later on in the line. Robin is three and a half years old and only just starting to sleep through the night. And then when you have two, you're constantly being woken up all the time. But, you know, it's fine. I'm a mum. That's what is meant to happen. Obviously, like sleep deprivation. Um, even when your kids do start sleeping through the night, you're never going to sleep properly ever again. The smallest of moves, the smallest of noise, and you're up, you're awake. Even, my, I was talking to my mum about it, and she said that even like when we turned into teenagers, she was up half the night worrying what time we were going to come home. Um, yeah, your sleep's gone. As soon as you turn your mum, turn as a mum or as a parent, it's gone. <laughs> one that I wish that I knew when I was pregnant was when this little bundle of joy comes into the world and place it on your chest you look at it and you realize that it looks like you like their dad so you've just birthed it for nine months you've just gone through the pain of birthing you've birthed it for nine months you've just looked after it for nine months inside you and then you've just gone and birthed it and then they come out looking like your da their dad why <laughs> I think I read up something that they come out looking like dads so they don't reject it or something but um, if you know leave a comment below and I would love to obviously know why they come looking out like their dad if the next one would be it's like a little cliche is it cliche I think that's the word for it but they grow up too quick and everyone always used to tell me this and I was like how can they grow up too quick like it's fine no they really do like really do Robin, my first, 
like I thought that was quick but having a second child when you have one to run around after already it's it honestly does it flies by like I can't believe that Isabel's like 18 months old now it feels like yesterday I gave birth to her and I could same with Robin like she's three and a half years old now and I can remember giving birth to her like it's it's so quick and it goes so quick so just take every moment that you get so another thing that I knew is babies are not the same what works with your first may not even work with your second or what works with your second doesn't work with your first um they are so 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 different in every way shape or form they may look similar but they're not they're two completely different children two completely different personalities i mean i've got robin my eldest and she is so kind and gentle and just very sensitive and i have isabel who is 18 months and she is like a bull in a china shop she doesn't care she's so loud she's so out there it's two very very different personalities and yeah not every baby is the same that's one that i'm going to leave it on and this is like a big one is to trust your mummy gut there's been multiple times that I have had a gut feeling and mum knows best all the time. <laughs> Dad knows best too. Not putting it out there that dads don't know, but mum and well parent parenting yeah, you just know. You know when your child's unwell, you know when your child's unhappy, you just know and if you have that feeling just go for it and don't back down. That's everything for this video. I hope you liked. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Turn the bell notification on. Um, my channel is all about life with the two children. Um, parenting, vlogs, lifestyle, cleaning, cooking, you name it. It's probably on here. Um, I'd love for you to stick around and become a subscriber. So we'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.